Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Anatomy of a Mix 3, song number three, I Remember by Drive By Angels. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna explain a couple of things I did off camera and then some final thoughts about the process. So if you check it out over here, you'll see in yellow all my VCA masters. So I have a drums VCA, basses, percussion and loops, and so on for each group of instruments. So if you notice, what I did here was you'll see some riding and things happening going up and down. So I made, in a particular area of the song, I wanted the whole song to build. This is the master VCA that controls all the other ones. So you notice it climbs up a little bit and down. And you'll also notice in certain spots we have little low points and high points. Let's take a look at those from section to section and take a quick listen. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. As in, in the first verse, I felt that the band wasn't loud enough as we got further into the tune. So you'll notice everything got raised except the lead vocals. Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars Daydreams stirring up old feelings Wonder if you're thinking about me too Also notice right here, this is the stereo with controls. When I looked in your eyes, my the stereo with controls on this Brainworks plugin. This will automate up and down and make the choruses feel a little bigger and a little wider. Well, I loved you right then. Now if you see here, we ducked the verses a little bit. And the other thing to notice is we did a volume fade, and not, not a fade, but a little trim at the end and in the beginning, so we get no unwanted noise from the analog gear. Now, what we also do in certain instances, we, we may even boost downbeats of a chorus if it's needed, just to get everything to pop and come over the top a little bit. A couple other things we may not have mentioned or I may not have done on camera. These side chains going up, and down these automations are basically to build certain sections of the song. So for instance, up here, side chain A is the drums and bass. That goes up in the bridge and in the out choruses. Same thing with the kick and snare drum side chain and in a big way with this one right here, uh, the arouser, which is our distressors, uh, to bring up the sound of the kick, snare, and toms in the bridge. We really wanted the bridge to explode. One thing I mentioned earlier was I had another mix I did a while ago. We said for fun we would, we would check the new mix versus the old mix. So let's give that a listen and see if I, if I beat it or if I need to do some more work. Let's hear it. Old one, a new one. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. So this one I, I mixed a little lower, so I would raise my VCAs and reprint it hotter. So I just gained it up for us. Let, let's check the, when the drums come in. So I'll play the old one, then I'll switch to the new one. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. I remember. Recall the night. 
go to the new one. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. So the snare has a little more punch and the vocals a little, a little more present. Let's check the old one on the chorus and then the new one. Here's the new one. Cool, so I, I like the new mix. The only thing I hear in the new mix against the old one is that the new one is lower. So let's do this. Let's raise the whole mix by grabbing the VCAs and raise them by 3 dB. And then we're gonna reprint it. And then I also noticed that the vocal was a little bit loud. So I'm gonna ungroup everybody and I'm gonna take, take the vocal VCA and I'm gonna bring that down one dB, and I'll take the backgrounds and bring them down almost one just to sort of match it. And now we're gonna reprint that one. And then while we're printing that, we can talk about some, some final thoughts and concepts. So I'm just gonna hit record. So that's recording. So that'll be our, our, our track right here. You're gonna, that's our two track, and we'll have that ready to go and send on to mastering. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. Cool. So, some final thoughts. The thing that really helped me get this going was having a template. You know, bringing it all in, importing it. All these different things were already on my two bus. My analog gear is preset. All these other instances of things were already set and ready to go. So that saves a ton of time. So that's the first thing. Make yourself a mixed template. Second thing, have a system. Are you going to copy the template and rename it? Are you going to import the template into your session? Whatever it is, it's, it's totally cool. I explained a little bit of that in the beginning have something and stick to it. Number three, use what you have. If, if you have stock plugins, figure out how to get the most out of them and then really work on your balance and work on your template so you can spend more time being creative. I mean, conceptually, it's the same thing if I use a piece of outboard gear as a plugin. Conceptually, having auxiliaries for the different parts of the drum set is the same thing whether I go to my summing mixer or I do it in the box, it could be the same thing for you. So keep that in mind. Also, you know, don't get bogged down. Remember three things, the three thing rule, your brain can, and ears can only focus on three things at a time. So don't spend too much time and sort of, again, work like a sculptor, do general concepts and then whittle down to specifics. Then when you're all done, come back and do these macro moves to sort of make the whole mix build and be more dramatic and have more impact. So I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun to redo this one. It was, I don't know, a year and a half ago. I'm sure we changed our template and improved since then. And uh, I'm probably gonna do another video coming up soon where I'll actually break down my template and explain it. And then we'll maybe follow it up with a series where the second video relating to that would be, I'll take a different tune and I'll just show you how I, I do my steps to get it into the template and import it. So once again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We could use your support, so please subscribe, please like the video and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more content coming. Thanks again, have a great time mixing, thanks.